I made a cut in the recording because it was all going on for like 30 minutes. Whoops. God damn it, Bobby. You can't just keep the recording going for 30 minutes at a time. What the fuck is this? During Peach's trophy ceremony in Mario Power Tennis, Mario quietly says, I love you. I l so much, I love you. To Peach, which is drowned up by the music. <laughs> oh, we're surrounded by cute boys. He's only... He's, he's only he's only a human after all. He's only human after all. Don't put the blame on him. He's just a silly simian. He's just he's just like a little ape boy. He's just a little ape. <laughs> he's trying his monkey best. He's just a little. He's God damn it. He's just a little primate. He, he needs his, he needs his, he needs his cooking. Just say you're missing out, amigo. I'm pretty sure your mother was just messing at him. We never serve that sort of thing to our guest. And there's no way we could afford the soup. <laughs> Mr. Randy lets out a hearty guffaw as he sets the burgers on the grill. It's all, it's all right, Bobby. It may not look like it, but Volko Dira's got his share of humans. For what I know, you guys can eat just about anything, right? As long as it's not raw. Raw meat aside. I, I mean, yeah, I guess. But you can too, like, you're not obligate carnivores, you're, like, why are you like this? We don't know that about dinosaurs. It must be nice to just grab whatever's on sale on the market. We prize these days are getting uh, pretty crazy. I've seen some of that synthetic meat around, might be cheaper. Wanna try, because it, it that's not the problem, you bingus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're putting we're putting it up at a pole. We're putting it up at a pole. <laughs> Biggest bingus two K twenty four. No, not Q and A. I want to start a poll. <laughs> like synthetic meat, Inko. The the point is to replace meat, not to be meat. You idiot. <laughs> Unless he's talking about like lab grown meat, which like I imagine that hunter dinosaurs would take that as like a weakness thing. Like, come on, dude, you're such a bingus. <laughs> he's such a spoiled little boy. I'm just a spoiled little simian. I'm just a spoil with a simian. And the dad goes, all right, D Damien, you're, you're going to give me my get me my goddamn propane device. We're sending this boy to the napalm camps. What do you mean, Dad? We're sending him to the napalm camps, and he's going to learn a thing or two about hunting. But, Dad, you gave your gun away like ten years ago. Boy, don't talk back to me. This is important. We got seven votes. You know what? That's all the votes I need. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Did, did I did I turn the vote? No, the volume's still on. It's just very ominously quiet. I love how Damien's... I would have preferred if Damien slid over to the other side. So ever... <laughs> I love how he's just standing there with a smile. It's like he just doesn't get it. Like his, his little monkey brain can't process the situation. Also, love how many people have their po hands in their pockets so they don't have to draw the hands. <laughs> He's just still standing there. He doesn't realize it yet. <laughs> oh, please. My, my pure, innocent little nerd. No. The grill has nothing to add. Even the grill knows. Ah, uh, sorry. What the hell is this? Is this guy Canadian or something, Damon? Because all I ever hear him say is sorry. Like one of them goddamn Canadians. <laughs> That's one taboo I stumbled into headfirst. Even Lobster is giving him the ellipses. No, Ted. I 
I better change the subject before I become the meat. Get on the chopping board, buddy. What are you talking? Get on the chopping board, buddy. Sorry, bro. There's one rule. Which pinky is it gonna be? What are you, Yakuza? Ah, uh, pretty close. So, hey, Damien! You're a himbo. You'll forget about this in five seconds, right? I'm a curious about well, this thing the whole time. What exactly is the summer s and celebration? It just explains. Like the, didn't I tell, tell you earlier? It's uh, like the last one, day of the year or whatever. Yeah, I get that part, but why is it a holiday? Oh, I, yeah, that. Uh, well, you know, back in the day, uh, it's like the start of when people start using their firewoods for warming and stuff, you know? Like, I guess the whole point is, like, back in the day, it was harder to warm your house. So it was like the last big blowout sale before you had to, you know... Actually, I don't really remember either. I guess you have a big rotation to school. It is a bit concerning he doesn't know this much about his own culture that he's currently celebrating. Uh, it's gonna die with him. Actually, it probably doesn't even need a reason. Why would you? This is the last warm day of the year. Any excuse for get-togethers is fine in my book. Now the kid plumps down or hard on the grass in the way only kids can without sh shattering something. He just fucking sits down on his hip bone. Crack. Yeah, and we don't we don't gotta go to school. It's nice and warm, and we get to eat real good. I think those mines are the right idea. Vinny. <laughs> lions, yeah. Hey, uh, Inko, are you over? Hey, it's uh, about ready. What does that have to do with the Mayans? Oh, oh, you invited me as a virgin sacrifice. Well, that's just fucking great. Thanks. Huh. No, you should have paid that hooker. The crap best way to escape get being a virgin sacrifice, really. It should have made a mandatory part of the curriculum when she turned 13. How many goddamn demons? Like, Mr. Yatakon must have been eyeing me the whole goddamn semester. Ah. Uh. Alright. I think that Inko kid will make a fantastic virgin sacrifice. I hope he sure doesn't meet up with some hooker before, he, before I manage to snare him in my demonologist plans. Alright, it's about ready. About time the guest showed up too, isn't it? Oh, they'll be here any minute. Oh, Olivia! Across the yard, Olivia contentedly drifting to the middle of the pool. Now a look came across her face at Deering Damien's mom, and she began to pedaling towards the race deck. We going in so soon? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to wait until the others get here? Yeah! Yeah, man! Wait till the food's ready so we can all eat together. I'd rather not. I have a lot of uh, art stuff to do. Sorry. Damien's little brother steps out from one of the small deck. Oh, but you said we played together sometime today. She tries to back her uncertain tone up with a shaky smile. M maybe later, Vinny. Uh, I, uh, have fun. Bye. She lifts herself in the pool and kneels atop her chair. I am confused at how her legs worked, but my best guess is that they're only <laughs> that they only do above the knees. Give me those knees. Give me those knees. I want the knees. Uh, give me that Christian knee hug. Turning about, her hands are carefully turning about, her hands carefully set her feet down on the chair's footrests. Yeah, man. Like I said, I've worked with wheelchair people. It's part of the process. Fully settled into the chair, Olivia rolls herself to the sliding back door of the house. Well, uh, to think the table's about that. Now we're really just waiting for the others. Damien, has your friend texted you at all? Yeah, at least she'd said it by now. Oh, Liz. Oh, it's Liz, nice. Uh, she's. Yes, he's bigger than Uncle, too. Oh, snap, that's nice. I'll, b I'll bust out the brewskis then. In fact, Damien shields his eyes and looks upward from me. I turn too, but at this angle, I can't see anything. Yeah, they're in the front yard. I'll, I'll go get them. <laughs> of course, you can see them across the entire house. <laughs> Damien runs to the back door into the house. A moment later, he emerges again as if to show off the new guests. Come on. Come on, don't make this weird. Hi, everyone. 
Oh, Inko, you're here. Yeah, I got roped in. Neat. Come on, Uncle Mike. Get through here. I'm not that old. What? He's wearing the gold shag, too. Oh. Uh, the giant finger lumbers through the doorway. That is not what I told him to get. <laughs> hey, Michael. <clears throat> Brander, how have you been? Two pat each other with the backs and give a firm handshake. Ah, doing good, doing good. How about yourself? What else with this ridiculous get up? Is it Mardi Gras? Oh, no, nothing like that. I've just been trying to relate more to the younger generation lately. And, um, it seems we're just too different these days. And all. Aw, oh, come on, leave that stuff to the kids. He got that riz. Then he sees me. Ah. Oh. Mr. Ferris? Oh, you know him, Bobby? Yes, we've met. He takes the same train as me. He's been helping me out. Recommended I try this train. Why is everyone so nice? They haven't even virgin sacrificed you yet for your f for your meat faux pas. This jerks ahead in my direction furiously. I'm gonna get it later, but not now. Oh God! Really regretting the magic now. I think he popped all my pots at once. Now the food will be ready soon, Inko. Your turn on the grill. Oh, uh, don't worry, kid. All I gotta do is keep your eye on the meat. And, uh, make sure they don't catch fire. You're gonna fuck it up, and they're gonna just shit all over you. You just know it. The rest, too. Damien's father leaves after I nod. The rest, too. Heading, uh, to where Damien, Vinny, and I just set up the chairs and table. Turn into the grill with a grimace. I swallow my nose and take up the tongs. What a lovely grill. Grill Chan! Grill Chan! Right. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh, nothing bad. Just realized. Inko is a little is a little trust fund baby. He's gonna fuck it up, isn't he? He's physically incapable of achieving any mission objective. Hey ya! Ah! Oh ah, sorry. Oh, you really must be Canadian, huh? Hi Liz, what are you doing here? Oh, everyone is talking about Randy's cooking, and I figured I'd see what's on the menu. What do you think I'm doing? What the hell are you? <laughs> What the hell? What do you think I'm doing? Why on earth are you getting my uncle to dress like he's gonna be in a music video? I mean, he'd look good at one. He asked for help. You thought that was good help? Yes, he just didn't take it right. I told him to get glasses, not chains. Give me shit for that. Across the yard, Vinny's jumping at the shiny object. Mr. Ferris caves and lends it to him. See? Problem solved. Ignoring Vinny now strutting around like a gangster. Oh man, whatever, whatever. <sighs> What's actually cooking? I motion to the silver tray spread out next to the grill. It's a lot of meat. Actually, aren't you a herbivore, Liz? Mm, I am. But uh, I think Damien thought ahead for me. Then why was he giving me shit for getting a salad? Wait, wasn't that the salad I brought? I knew he wouldn't forget about me like that. Anyway, is uh, Olivia out here? Ah, uh, she was just at the pool. Just had to go inside. This is head of steel for a moment. She's in thought. Uh, apparently, it's a common thing for that. I mean, I know people like that. Like, you know. Yeah. I was hoping she'd stuck around for once. Oh, she does this as often. Every time Damien spoke through a party, she slips away to her room. Sometimes I see her at the window. Her eyes motion for me to turn to a particular window. I can't really see from this angle. You can't see anything from any angle, Inko. Are you blind? Why would I be any different then? Liz shoots me a knowing look. What? Well, I figured she was opening up a little too. Yeah, but that, then, that means that Inko goes to her room. Not that she comes out here, you dumbass. I mean, I guess. To some degree. Not got any frame of reference. At best, I can kind of talk to her. You know, say hello and she won't instantly try to murder me and eat my face for dinner. 
Ah, uh, what did you do this to me? No. Then, ah. Uh, oh God. Not the hot dogs and the cocktail weenies. Spinning around to see that something is caught on fire. I grab whatever it is with thongs and flail around, hoping the air will... Works well enough, but it is pretty bad. That's your well done, then. You wanted it well done? There you go, buddy. Well, that's uh, one last cause. I give the piece of uh, charcoal a careful look, and yes, it, it doesn't look edible in the least. I put it to the side and turn back to Liz. Eddie, what were you saying about Olivia opening up? Yeah, it's um, strange, but also good. Certainly a bit surreal after all this time. <sighs> well, that's a shame, but it is what it is. Anyway, I want to go catch up with the others. See you around. Why weren't you standing here physically? It's so awkward. You're sitting over there, but your neck is here. Liz returns to the rest of the gathering, leaving me at the grill once again. Yeah, because they're like, they're, they're sipping on those brewskis. Burn piece of meat aside, the rest of the food is, um, well, still looking good. I'm not exactly the best grill master. But not like it matters too much for Damien's folk. Whatever foods this food's actually cooked or not is apparently an aesthetic matter. A couple more flips. And the meat is brown and sizzling, which is good enough in my book to put them along with the finish. Listen, the thing about carnivores is they don't just eat muscle and fat, right? They eat an absurd amount of, like, organ meat, which contains all the nutrients they need. Like, the average meat eater is going to be like, hmm, tasty kidney, more than, hmm, tasty... Per like, that's the that's the treat meat, you know? That's like the, the nice slice of white bread. That's the, um, you know, like the, the bacon. That's not what you eat to get your nutrients. Maybe they have vitamin supplements if you really don't want to eat like kidneys and stuff. I assure you, though, organ meat is the way to go. A couple more flips. The meat is brown and sizzling. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm about done with my shift. Damien's turn was next, and he's just wrapping things up. The last few things. It doesn't take me long to spot him chatting with Liz, who is in rapture by whatever guaranteed high concept discussion they're having. I need to take a drink. Hey, Damien. Damien's feels perk up a bit as he turns around to face me. Your turn on the grill. I got you, hombre. He waves Liz over and takes a firm hold of the spatula. Okay, time to get some more. <gasps> he suddenly pauses, his eyes fall upon the charred remain of a one savory and juicy piece of meat. He picks up the meat and inspects it while chomping it down in a single bite. Okay, I'll finish the cooking the last pieces. Yankee, if you would be an awesome dude, you can start serving the others. Almost already ready to shout out. I give Damien a nod and grab the tray of meat. The VA has been improvising too much. Send in the security forces. I take the tray over to the eagerly awaiting crowd with all the care to be expected from someone who is surrounded by a very hungry meat-eating Saurian. After seeing the platter of delectable edible flesh, they start with whatever they're doing and begin to gather around the table. And um, that's what I say. Well, it's cause you look like a student yourself, yes. And that's risk coming from you. Me 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 me. It's finding you here, Vincent. Now remember to mind your manners. Hopefully with my salad too. Looks like everyone's having a pretty good time in with their meal. They even ate the ones that I cooked. Though I can see Damien's little brother is making a slight face at this. Gust still winds up chomping on the meat anyway. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with how my cooking turned out. He did like a bit. I take a seat next to Damien and Liz and prepare my meal before I dig in. Mm, gotta go with the tried and true ketchup and nothing more. Listen, man, if I got a burg, I go with a mayo. I'm, I'm a mayo man. I don't like ketchup. I don't like sweets. I would demand one slice of cheese, at least one slice. And after that, it's all gravy. Maybe some, maybe some you know, some uh, salad. Like a bit of lettuce just to, to water down the intensity a bit. If it's a bit strong cheese or something. I don't like onions. Too much crunch. I don't like too much crunch. I want my burger to be a bit soft. Easy. It's just a burger and a bun and a ketchup. Or is it just the burger and the ketchup? Is there even a bun? Do they even buy bread? With my burger pad, I'll go in for the first bite. Gotta say, Damien did a great job with the patty. Damien's that. Well, what do you think, Kiko? I give a thumbs up and smile as best as I can with a full mouth. The elder dinosaur gives me a toothy, soft-stained grin of return. He's not elderly. He's still got the... Unless he dyes his hair. Oh, that's cute. That'd be cute. They do have a certain age to them, though. Definitely middle age at the minimum. You know, like getting on. He's probably had his midlife crisis, and that's why he has the barbecue. <laughs> I can see what Damien gets that toothy grin of his. 
ready to tear my throat out. <laughs> Savoring the well-cooked meat patty and buns with each bite, I slowly lose myself in the party's mood. Though I feel more, a bit more ancillary than first, seeing the adults lost in work talk while well, Damon and Liz are handling the excitable Vinny. Humming around a mouthful of burger, my eyes wander. Tie out smaller than mine. And there's tons of toy scat in the look. It's smaller? What a trust fund baby. You're a trust fund baby. Stop. Stop. 